This is Darren Redman for Redman's Wrap-Up on Friday, October 12th, Baseball Edition. We are in the Championship Series. Today, we start with the Milwaukee Brewers hosting the Los Angeles Dodgers. Both of these series are going to be tough to pick, but that's my job. I'll walk you through it. Remember, I don't do the betting line. Serge, the hockey guru, that's what he does. I just talk analysis and who's going to win. So, who's going to win between the L.A. Dodgers and the Milwaukee Brewers? L.A. is on a mission this year. They feel like they went a little, They fell a little bit short last year. Game 7, lost to the Astros. They have a lot to prove. Milwaukee Brewers, they are just living a charm lifestyle right now. What I mean by that, not that they're getting breaks, but like they are just playing like it's the middle of the season and they're having fun. So when you compare those two things, what could be the difference? Well, the Dodgers have some excellent pitching. The Brewers have an excellent pitching staff. I think the difference is going to be Yelich. I think Yelich is having one of those years that you look back on, and I'm not going to say the Collier Strimsky year that they had in 67 when the Red Sox made their big run, but that's what this reminds me of. So I think in a very long series, seven games most likely, maybe six, the Milwaukee Brewers will win this series. So that's who I'm picking. Milwaukee Brewers to beat the L.A. Dodgers, not just tonight, but within the series. And that's no shade to the Dodgers. I mean, these four teams that are left are really, really good. But I see the Milwaukee Brewers going to the World Series. Now, in the American League, you have a team that had a historic season. The Boston Red Sox dismantled the Yankees 16-1 to at Yankee Stadium. We'll talk about that another time. How do you not knock down some of these people? You know, get them off the plate. They were just crowding the plate at Yankee Stadium. I got to tell you, Sparky Lyle would have never let that happen. Goose Gossage would have never let that happen. Whitey Ford would have never let that happen. We won't even bring up Roger Clemens. So that's 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 a time. It's something a discussion for another time. But you have the Boston Red Sox who had a historic year against the defending World Series champions, Houston Astros. I know a lot about the Houston Astros because at FHT Sports we've covered the Fresno Grizzlies from the press box and their top minor league farm team uh, this past year. So what do I see happening here? This is a power hitting team against a team with dominant pitching with the Astros. But what do I see happening? I see the Astros winning this series. Houston just has too many of the intangibles. Great, great fielding, timely hitting. And let me tell you something, you beat the Red Sox, that's no small feat. This is not an easy team to beat. I would not be surprised if it ends up to be the Dodgers Red Sox in the World Series. But if I'm asked to pick, I see the Houston Astros beating the Red Sox in six games, maybe seven, six or seven games as well. So I see the Milwaukee Brewers facing the Houston Astros in the World Series. Wrap it up. Because Darren Redman has spoken. This is Redman's wrap-up. Put a bow on it. We'll be back talking some college football. We'll talk some NHL hockey. We'll talk some NFL football along the way. And we have basketball coming. So, this is your source for education, enlightenment, some fun along the way. We'll have some laughs. Let's see what happens. Brewers, Astros, put a bow on it because Redman wrapped it up.